Hey guys, what's going on? Will here, Flawless Design of Creations, coming to you guys with another video down here at the vault. I uh, wanted to talk a little bit about the gene, obviously in the description, Sentinel slash paint. Um, it's been a lot of controversy. We made a, actually a video a long ways back about the gene um, when we first started acquiring. Now we have quite a bit of it. Um, and we really, really like it. The, there's controversy about it because depending on what breeder you're working with, um, whether it don't matter how long they've been in the game, they're going to have their beliefs. And then you're going to have Morph Market on which way they're going to uh, label it and market it on their website as well. So it also depends on how you're going to recognize it, whether it's going to be recessive or it's going to be incomplete dominant uh, with a super version reason that we're going to make this video is because we actually have a few actually i'll show you this girl first we try our hardest to keep oops, on our cocoa in our tubs but to keep the jeans as they're labeled as they're purchased as they hatch however it may be this girl here is actually a het paint girl het paint het sentinel she's labeled as het paint uh, she is a breeder. She is not proven. Um, gonna wait a little bit, probably see. Our male hasn't really, you know, adjusted to liking her yet. <laughs> Didn't know that was really a thing with the ball pythons. But we'll show off the girl he has taken a liking to. Um, but this is normal head paint in the recessive world and as morph market lists it as and then some people as far as an incomplete dominant world this would be called a paint a paint female and if there was two copies of the gene she would be a super paint but again one copy then not gonna mess with the babies too much but this actually is labeled as let me look at the label exactly now this is labeled as hopefully you can catch up oh i'm sorry mama catch all the colors this is a banana yellow belly sentinel or a paint but we're going to keep it labeled as we purchased her purchased from Dynasty so we have to write that down and the reason we have to write it down because we have to recognize what they are going by if we know morph market goes by recessive Dynasty reptiles which is a large breeder reputable breeder but again you have difference of opinions with different breeders and we recognize that we just want to keep our lines straight um, but they address it and they list it under Morph Marcus tabs, but in the title, she is called a banana yellow belly sentinel. But they recognize it as an incomplete dominant. So that would mean again, even though it's quote quote unquote grouped and categorized as a recessive, they're saying that she has one copy of the sentinel gene. Okay, so that's her. It can get a little confusing um, because we're trying to address it the way the majority of everyone addresses it. And sorry, my allergies acting up, guys. But as you see, it can prove to be quite difficult if it's not 100% um, understood across the board or recognized that way by all breeders. Let me show you our mail that we're super excited about. Like I said, we won't show. We have a couple more paint and sentinel girls that are the double dose. So regardless of whether it's incomplete dominant or recessive, we have a couple of those girls I'm not gonna quite show them off yet, but we're gonna show off our male, that's the double dose. I guess that's the best way to do it. So this male here is freaking awesome. <laughs> he is banana super sentinel is how they have him listed, which tells me it's the double dose. His color is actually quite different as well. Love this male. He is breeding with that, that other banana girl for us. 
uh, honestly, we're going to play with them and we're going to hold back a lot of stuff and hopefully it should prove itself out with the breeding with her. But we really think it may be super banana. Um, I have my question. I've been doing my research and looking at different ones and his color is completely different. I know the other one has yellow belly, but let's show them side by side. They just have such different tones, guys. Such different tones. Colors is so different. This girl is so deep and rich. He's so light and smooth. Really, really cool. So there you have it. Um, the Sentinel Gene, the Paint Gene, how we're working it. We have a few different projects. We're not gonna announce all of them quite yet. We're gonna come in different videos and show them off to you guys. Um, just what we're finding to be interesting here um, and what we're going to work on and see if it you know proves out for us. I guess the good way, if we do have any available, we're still going to post them the way Morph Market is going to suggest for us to post them, which is recessive. But in notations, we'll put whether it's single dose, double dose of the gene, two copies of the gene, uh, meaning that, you know, it's the super version incomplete dominant or it's the actual visual recessive because uh, it can be quite re confusing if you purchase, if it's indeed recessive gene and you purchase said female banana, yellow belly, sentinel, and that's what you need for your projects. And you purchase her and you put her on a program. And in theory, you just purchase a banana, yellow belly, het sentinel. So I guess having a single copy or double copy of the gene is where it needs to be clarified. That. Hopefully it wasn't confusing for you guys. That's why I wanted to do the video show what was actually going through our heads while we're, you know, trying to figure out all this stuff and looking at pictures on Morph Market, the sold snakes and different pictures of, you know, the visual sentinels, visual paints, watching the similarities. And then we're so new that, you know, our ID skills are in the toilet. So we're trying to work on that as well. But again, this is our process. This is our journey and what we're on. It's Will, it's Flawless Design and Creations. Later.